Hey up, hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please consider liking and subscribing. It don't cost you anything, and it means an awful lot to me, so I'd be really grateful for that. Thanks to those that have come back. Uh, so yes, we are in the garage. Um, I still haven't got round to cladding these. But what I, what I wanted to have a look at today was the, uh, the microscope, basically, and more to the point, the the Apex Mini Grab, which is um, a camera that projects the microscope image onto the PC. So, as you can see, we've got the PC running with a, a YouTube channel. I don't know what that is, but uh, yeah, you can subscribe in that bottom corner. Look, right. So, what we'll do, we'll get rid of that. And here's the microscope. Now, this one's quite an old one, to be fair. It's um, it's a Brunel, I think. Is it? Yeah, Brunel. And I think it's an SP20. It could be an SP25. And attached here, right on the end there, I hope you can see that, that's the Apex Mini Grab. And basically, what that does is replace your, uh, your viewfinder. So instead of having to look down the scope, it basically plugs in with a mini USB, which is already connected to this PC. <laughs> and then that transmit the image through an app called Image View. So, I do have a video on the channel where uh, earlier in the year I found flukes and I managed to get a capture. Well, that was done on this system. Um, I'll stick that up here uh, for those that haven't seen it. I put some creepy music to it just to make it even worse. Um, but that's what it's capable of. So basically, it's really, really simple. So the microscope itself, I've, I haven't done a scrape today, but what I do, I have a, I have a slide, um, and it's like a demo slide. I don't know if you can see that, it's, it's showing as algae. Uh, so I'll give that a quick wipe, because it's fogging. And we're gonna stick that in here. So I'm gonna do it one-handed. So this microscope in particular has got a movable table. So you can see backwards and forwards, left and right, you can move the, uh, the, the slide wherever you want it. And obviously a light. You can see how old it is, I've got an LED light, it's just a normal bulb. Uh, we've got three lenses if you like. Uh, so that says four times. But I believe with the Mini Grab I stand to be collect corrected. Um, but that acts as a times 10 I believe, so that would make that 40 times. Uh, 40 would be 400 and then that one would be 100 um, like I said I do stand to be corrected but I believe that's what it is so we'll lock that into there and what we'll do we'll start the uh, we'll start the image view app you have to bear with this piece here it is a bit slow but it's an old one so so that's the interface that you get with the app um, it, I mean it is really bog standard really basic but it does the job uh, you click on the camera that you want he says there you go and it will pop up in a second so straight away you can see there we're not getting much of an image that's just light um, but then you move on to the microscope and start doing your adjustments so what I'll do I'll keep you on the screen as I go through and start adjusting a bit of fine tuning and see what we can do. Actually quite a way off, let's have a look. I find it easier sometimes to have a look. I think we're getting there. A bit of fine tuning. So there you go. So that's that's showing the algae, and that's at the um, that's at the minimum that you can have it on. That's on 40 times. Obviously, bear in mind that's got the, the mini grab as well, so that's 40 times. But yeah, you can really see see the detail in that. And the beauty of this um, this system, you, you're able to record all the footage or just take a snapshot 
I haven't set up the record on this on this PC to be honest I've just dug this out rather than use the one in the house um, but it's as simple as pressing record and selecting your record destination uh, yeah we'll just yeah finish that so then we can press record and it should start recording he says oh. there you go sorry yeah it is recording so you you've got the ability then to scan through the slide um, and so you don't miss anything you can always watch it back um, again really really useful especially if you've used microscopes and you know what you're looking for some of the stuff can be really really difficult to spot and you have to go to the higher magnifications but having the ability to flip back and look through your footage is really handy so what we'll do we will now go and zoom in a little bit more and it's just flicking the dial around and this is on to a hundred times and we'll try and focus in on that a little bit you can see the finite tuning that you do have you can really really pick up some detail I appreciate it's not very exciting this in particular but hopefully you'll get an impression of how easy it can be you haven't got your your eyes stuck down the microscope you're not straining your eyes it's really simple to use and you can also take a snapshot so if you want to take a snapshot it'll be similar we'll stop the recording and then it takes a snapshot and puts it up there one and two and we'll flip back we won't go on to the 400 times because I believe you're supposed to use oils with this lens if you go that far so I don't intend doing that so we'll flick it back oh, we're still on an image there we'll go to the live there you go so yeah you've got the ability to flip through the slide you find all sorts on there I don't know what that is that could just be dust but it does for me it does take and there's the edge of the slide look it does take a lot of the guesswork out of trying to find something I can be more confident that I will find it using this system rather than just having my eyeball stuck down the lens. There you go, and then if you find something you like, or invariably don't like, you stick that on there, you can have a closer look. Yeah, so that's that's the Apex Mini Grab. I appreciate there's probably a lot more products out there that do a very very similar job. I believe Brunel and Apex are one and the same. Again, I stand to be connected, but uh, as far as I am aware, the, all the, the products are interchangeable, or, or the vast majority, especially for hobbyists, for this kind of thing, to do make it quite accessible. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show you very quickly this week. Uh, again, if you have found it helpful, always appreciate a like and subscribe. Thanks to those that came back and uh, viewed, as always. I will do a quick shout out, shout out to LOL, mate of mine, hope you're doing well and I hope you're watching, we'll find out if you're watching because uh, next time I see you you'll tell me. Alright mate, cheers and we'll see you again next week, ta-da.